The year is 2025, and the legend of the Big Bud 16V746 continues to echo across the vast open fields of American farmland. In an era where tractors are evolving into computerized, self-driving machines, there still stands one name that symbolizes the raw power and mechanical soul of agriculture. The mighty Big Bud 16V746, built in Havre, Montana, during the golden age of heavy machinery. The Big Bud was never meant to be ordinary. It was designed for the biggest farms, the toughest soil, and the most demanding operators. Back then, engineers didn't talk about software or digital controls. They talked about strength, torque, and the ability to keep going where others failed. Decades later, in 2025, that philosophy still defines this tractor. It remains an icon of engineering power and durability, a machine that refuses to be forgotten. When you first stand before the Big Bud 16V746, you immediately understand why it's called Big. The tractor stretches more than 28 feet long, about 20 feet wide and over 14 feet high. Its massive stance dominates the landscape. The tires alone, eight-foot-tall Goodyear agricultural giants, are taller than most people. Each tire weighs over a ton and gives the tractor a ground clearance that no other machine can match. Even in today's age of advanced machinery, there is simply nothing that looks or feels like the Big Bud. Under its enormous hood lies the heart of the beast, the Detroit Diesel 16 V92T engine, a 16-cylinder, two-stroke turbocharged diesel monster capable of producing a jaw-dropping 760 horsepower and an incredible 1,250 pound-feet of torque. It's not just a tractor engine. It's an industrial power plant. The engine displaces over 24 liters, and when it roars to life, the deep, thunderous vibration can be felt in your chest before you even hear it. There's a unique growl that only a Detroit diesel can produce, and the 16 V92T is its loudest, most powerful symphony. Turn the key, and the starter whines before the cylinders catch with a deafening rumble. Exhaust stacks belch thick diesel smoke as the idle settles into a heavy, rhythmic tone. Every rotation of those pistons feels like a heartbeat from a metallic giant. You don't just start a big bud, you awaken it. In operation, the Big Bud is designed to handle tasks that would break smaller machines. It's capable of pulling some of the largest cultivators, chisel plows, and cedars ever built. Farmers have used it to work over 1,000 acres in a single day, a feat unimaginable for standard tractors. Its power allows it to cut deep into hard clay soil or drag 80-foot-wide implements without losing momentum. And even though it consumes a lot of fuel, roughly 18 to 20 gallons per hour under load, the productivity it delivers far outweighs its appetite. The transmission is a heavy-duty six-speed, twin-disc power shift, transferring that massive power smoothly to all four wheels. Unlike modern CVT or hydrostatic systems, this transmission is purely mechanical and built for strength. Shifting through gears gives the operator a sense of direct connection to the machine. No computers, no algorithms, just mechanical force and human control. The Big Bud's structure is built from thick, high-grade steel. The frame alone weighs more than some compact tractors. Everything about it was over-engineered to last for decades. It was never meant to be disposable. It was meant to serve generation after generation. In 2025, several of these tractors are still working daily in places like Montana, North Dakota, and Alberta. Proof that great engineering outlives trends and technology. Climbing into the cab feels like stepping into a piece of history. The door opens with a heavy clang, and you climb up several steps to reach the operator's seat. Inside, the space is surprisingly open. The controls are large, mechanical, and satisfying to use. Long levers, sturdy switches, and analog gauges. There's no touch screen, no digital interface, just direct, simple functionality. 
The driver's seat sits high above the ground, offering a commanding 360-degree view of the field. You can see every inch of the machine and the vast farmland stretching to the horizon. The feeling is empowering. You're not just operating a tractor, you're commanding a force of nature. Farmers who still operate big buds today often make small modern upgrades, adding air suspension seats, insulation for noise, and even Bluetooth radios for entertainment during long hours. Some retrofit LED lighting, GPS tracking, and hydraulic steering assists. But despite these upgrades, the heart of the Big Bud remains unchanged. It's still that mechanical giant from the 1970s and 80s, running strong and true. One of the reasons for its longevity is its serviceability. Every component of the Big Bud was designed for easy maintenance. Panels are removable, the engine is accessible, and parts can be replaced with basic tools. The tractor doesn't rely on electronics or sensors, meaning fewer failures and easier repairs. In a world where modern tractors often require diagnostic computers to fix even minor issues, the Big Bud can be serviced by any experienced mechanic with wrenches and determination. Another key factor that sets the Big Bud apart is its durability under load. The articulation joint, the pivot point that allows it to turn, is incredibly strong, capable of enduring extreme stress for thousands of hours. Its hydraulic systems are overbuilt, its axles are massive, and its frame rarely flexes even under heavy drawbar loads. This structural resilience is why so many of them have survived decades of operation. In 2025, Enthusiasts across the United States and Canada continue to restore and preserve these machines. Restoration shops often strip the entire tractor down, rebuild the engine, repaint the frame in its iconic white and black color scheme, and bring it back to life for shows and demonstrations. Some even use them for active field work, proving that these machines aren't just museum pieces. They're still capable of serious labor. The Big Bud 16V746 has become a symbol of pride and nostalgia. It represents a time when machinery was built not to impress with software, but to endure through sheer engineering. Farmers who grew up seeing these tractors in magazines or on their neighbors, farms now see them as living monuments of an era when human craftsmanship reigned supreme. When compared to modern tractors of 2025, like the John Deere 9RX, the Case IH Steiger 715, or the Fent 1167 Vario, the Big Bud may seem old-fashioned. It doesn't have autonomous driving, precision, 